back in the square tomorrow at 8. Expanding his empire in Harrogate and Peckham, he quits his new secret weapon in the Pound Shop Wars next. And he's ignored one order too many. On his way out, Inspector George Gently investigates at 8.30. While Britain's best amateur hairstylists go head to head on BBC Three, catch up with hair. with your 90 second update. There's been an increase in the number of people coming to live in the UK. That's despite a government pledge to reduce it by next year. It's been driven by immigration from the EU and fewer people leaving. Full details at 10. The first big business has warned it may leave Scotland if people vote for independence. Standard Life says it creates too much uncertainty. Scottish ministers have called the move unnecessary. Angela Merkel's addressed both houses of parliament. She's the first German chancellor to do so for 40 years years. She told politicians she wanted Britain to remain a strong voice in the EU. A bad year for RBS. The bank, which was bailed out by taxpayers, made losses of £8 billion. Fines and compensation payments have been blamed. Thousands turned out for the funeral of Sir Tom Finney. The 91-year-old footballer died two weeks ago. He was described as one of the legends of the game. Hello, I'm Becky Meehan with the latest from the North West. Preston came to a standstill today as the city paid its respects to Sir Tom Finney. Some of football's biggest names turned out to bid farewell to the man known as Preston's favourite son. Sir Tom Finney spent his entire playing career at Preston North End and scored 30 goals for England. He died earlier this month at the age of 91. And the weather, a cold and frosty start, staying dry with bright spells later and highs of 7 or 8 Celsius. Britain had entered the Great War. Britain's decision for war was a disaster not just for this country, but also for the entire world. But what if we'd stayed out? What if Germany had won? Without escalating British support, war would have ended with a German victory in 1916, if not earlier. Where I part company from what we might call the Blackadder take on history is to believe that it was also futile, that it didn't matter which side won. We're left with just one question. Was it worth it? BBC Two continues the landmark debate on whether we were right to go to war with Neil Ferguson's The Pity of War, tomorrow at nine on BBC Two. They found a body on the hill in Ravenswick. There's nothing that's gonna make us any better. He can make a hell of a lot worse. She said she was going to make people angry. Maybe she meant angry with me. They really miss her. People do stupid things when they get fired up. Shetland, a new series, starts Tuesday, 11th of March, on BBC One. Hello, I'm Frank Skinner. Join me this week on Room 101 to find out what riles my guests, Adam Hills, Giles Brandreth and Melanie C. This week on BBC One and BBC One HD. After him, the inspector's bosses want him out. Could it be the final case for George Genley in half an hour? Now on BBC One, we're not quite ready for question time. Uh, the question I get asked mostly in here, believe it or not, is how much is this? How much is this? <laughs> that is the truth. How much are these shies? <laughs> They're shops with a magical formula. It must cost more to make them what the 